Our next question is question number 2.53. It says the ejection of photoelectron from silver metal in photoelectric effect experiment can be stopped by applying voltage of 0.35 volt when the radiation 256.7 nanometer is used calculate the work function for the silver metal so here again it is a very simple question what is given to us is one voltage is given second wavelength is given in terms of nanometer we need to calculate the work function so first let's find out uh, the formula where you can calculate work function where you have nano with involved in it so for this the equation here is g of incident radiation equals work function plus kinetic energy of photo electron so this is the equation from this you can calculate what is the work function but for that energy of incident radiation or kinetic energy is not given to us directly in the question so for that you will have to use your wavelength to first calculate the energy of incident radiation so let's calculate that first so we can write down that energy of incident radiation E is equal to since wavelength is there we will write the formula HC by lambda. Now lambda is given to us in nanometer it has to be converted to meter because velocity of light is in terms of meters. So here we can write H is Planck's constant 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 joule second into C value is velocity of light so that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by lambda values in terms of nanometer. Let's convert that to meters so that's 256.7 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. 1 nanometer is 10 to the power minus 9 meter so I just converted here. Now 6.626 into 3 divided by 256.7 will give us 0.07746 into 10 to the power minus 34 plus 8. When minus 9 goes up it will become plus 9. So when you simplify the power you will get minus 17 joule. Now this is equal to when you shift your decimal two places on the right hand side it will become 7.746 10 to the power minus 19 joule. So this is the energy in terms of joule but because your value here is given in terms of voltage you need to convert joule into electron volt. So here 1 electron volt is equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule. Therefore, these many joules will require how many electron volt. So x electron volt is equal to 7.746 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule. Cross multiply. So the x electron volt is equal to 7.746 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule into 1 electron volt divided by 1.602 10 to the power minus 19 joule. So all that I did was cross multiply. 10 to the power minus 19, 10 to the power minus 19 will get cancelled. Joule and joule will also get cancelled. So 7.746 divided by 1.602 is 4.83 electron volt so now we have these many electron volt but voltage here is given here in this case voltage is given so you have to convert this voltage to electron volt using kinetic energy formula so now in this case you're not going to use kinetic energy where one k kinetic energy is 1 by 2 mv square but instead you have to find a formula for kinetic energy which you can relate it to voltage so for that kinetic energy is equal to charge into voltage. 
all right now charge is what since you're finding it for an electron we know the charge of an electron is one only one electron in two voltage given to us is 0 0.35 volt when we multiply this will become 0 0.35 electron volt we know what is the energy of incident radiation we know what is the kinetic energy we can find out what is work function so here we can write that work function equals energy of incident radiation minus kinetic energy of photoelectron. Energy of incident radiation is this in terms of electron volt. So 4.83 electron volt minus 0 0.35 which is a kinetic energy. This is equal to 4.48 electron volt. That is the work function for silver metal.